Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report without you guys, as well as you ladies. You know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great day. Man, I am tired today. I am so tired. No, not tired physically. I'm tired of the bull jiggity. Okay, bull jiggity. Because, you know, yesterday was my birthday, and um, some people were telling me during the live stream that Philly 500 and Dan Salio had some choice words for you yesterday, and so on. And I was like, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. You know, Philly 500 the week before was so messed up, how messed up was he, that he literally texted me Tuesday and said, what, Dan doesn't want us on the show? I didn't get the link for today's show. I said, bro, it's Tuesday. It's not Wednesday. He was like, oh, crap. He's like, I came into work at 5 a.m. and I was wondering why nobody was here. I made my lunch and everything else. He was literally jacked up. And I had fun last week. I ain't going to lie to you. I had fun. And I was really looking forward to it this week again. And, of course, somehow... Philly 500, who, mind you, it's, it's almost like karma, with Devin White. When Devin White was signed, I was, you know, in Vermont and couldn't be on the show. He literally ranted and raved about me being in a safe house. Mark Holmes is hiding out because he, you know, he can't face us, this, that, and the other. And lo and behold, he doesn't show up yesterday. He shows up today. Now, I, I could give him plausible not deniability because... He is so stupid, he doesn't know one day of the week from the other. But listen to this bull jiggity. You know, here it is. The Cowboys get a win when they said, you know, laugh now. You're going to get your ass handed to you. But the Cowboys found a way to win with Jalen Tolbert's, you know, literally spraining his effing nuts. Listen to Philly 500 and Dan Salio. Jalen first. I'll tell you something, man. We had your boy on, on Wednesday, um, Mark Holmes. I mean, yeah. he's drunk. He's oh, drunk he's with drunk. the fact that the yeah. Eagles are just stumbling around. He's three and two right now. And I told him he's going on a four game losing streak. I said, yeah, dude, well, you're going on a four game losing streak. That Cowboy team is not going to go anywhere. He told me he thinks that team's an 11 win team. That team can only so beat teams that, that, that are not that great on offense. If you have a decent offense, they can't keep up. Of you know, I thought the Steeler game like I, I thought Field stunk to be honest, throwing the ball. And then I I think Najee Harris looked really bad. And I don't think Pittsburgh ran the ball enough. But um, I don't think they can beat offenses that can go. So I expect Detroit to to destroy them this weekend. Absolutely. So I think I think Mark will be coming back to earth real soon. They're only drinking like rum and shit. Like this guy's a real aristocrat. <laughs> like he's like a, he's like the stupidest cowboy fan I've What's ever it? seen. You were so oh, nice to me yesterday, Dan. Oh, that's cow, dude. Yeah, it, it's like Dak Prescott's his adopted son or something. The guy. Oh, yeah. I'm like, you know, I mean, what about the little tiff between CD and Dak? I mean, hey, are you concerned about Washington now, though? Yeah. Yeah, people tell me not to be, but I think they're the second best team, at least in this division. Maybe the first best team right now. I mean, right now they're the best team. Who right now they're playing who, better than Philly. I think. I think Jaden. You Daniels still think the Eagles are the best team in the division? Uh, more than just this year, I, I no. think that kid's the real deal. So I think that they're going to be good. Um, you know, if the Eagles get it to go, get it going, I still think they're better. Um, but. You know, yeah, I mean, I think Washington's better than Dallas right now. And, and they're playing better than anybody, like you said. So um, I do think they're going to lose two to Baltimore this week. So I think they'll come down to earth a little bit. But, I, that, yeah, that, that, that Mark Holmes dude, he, I mean, he, he his glucose levels right now are <laughs> extreme danger. Uh, all the eating he's doing his stream, you, you know, I don't know if, if he's high on, on – Cars. Hey, hey, Philly, uh, jelly donuts will do that to you. Okay? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, watch, that, too, watch, watch that guy's stream. Uh, every every quarter there, he's got a whole new meal. <laughs> On camera, he's just eating away. It's disgusting. He's disgusting. Yeah, food flying everywhere, getting hit yeah. by particles. It's no good, oh. man. Hey, man, yeah, I'll tell you what. 
this is going to be an interesting ball game on Sunday, man. They better I put the so. points on and win this ball game. Convincingly. I, I agree. I oh, there's going to be a gonna... lot of comments Monday coming around. I think this this is going to tell us everything we need to know about Nick Sirianni this week. I really Absolutely. do. Have a great weekend, brother. You Thank too, you my for man. doing that. Thank you. Totally. Appreciate it. They had this big like summit between um wait wait i want to see if i can find it. over what's going on and jalen hurts probably this looks like it's preconceived absolutely the national football league right now the worst he offense actually, he can't throw the ball hold on he, i i want to the coaches this. front office and him he, he, follow me here i showed people a contract a professional football contract yesterday and you had playing incentives in it that you had, like, remember something. Okay, hold on. Let's see. I, I think the Eagles to... went like this. Well, shit. My pocket for them. Hey, they got a lot of drama. But it's so, 200 mean, great. Look, it... anything less than that, I'm going to blame on the coach and say, you this guy all up. What if he's got this guy not liking the plays that are coming in? Nick says he goes back four years and look at the process of how they do business in his presser. So when you and I are looking at 2023 and we're seeing the same mistake, receivers are out and you use him 10 times. I, I guess I can't find him. And then you say. But they were actually, he was close to saying ago. fire Howard. They didn't. They set but, him but, up to fail. But Philly, get this though. He said in the. Everybody else needs weapons around them to succeed as far as I'm concerned. I don't think there's any other quarterback but those two guys that I can look at and go, wow, they have less weapons than they do more. So you think he was just being That honest. would be Dak Prescott. Okay, yeah. that's, a, that's a good way. Okay. Miss Huff. Okay, here we go. Lesser count. This is it. A couple last ones here for you. <laughs> How much responsibility do you put on Howie for constructing this football team? Mm -hmm. I want to show you something here. Miss Huff, Miss Gardner Johnson, Miss Avante Maddox, Miss Nolan Smith, Miss Nicobe Dean. I mean, the two tackles aren't playing interior wise up to their capabilities. <laughs> he, he wants to cry. Has been old. I mean, at the end of the day, so. all of these guys, especially on the defensive side, he's whiffed on almost everything here. And you look at the coordinators a little bit limp. I mean, look at Vic's system. I mean, you go like this. I hate Vic's system. Well, you hired him. You knew what he was. He was too high safety, and he played guys 10 yards off the ball. I mean, give me no. your sense of Howie's accountability in this. Oh, Ooh. I think I think Howie's definitely account accountable. I, I think it's to the point now where if you get continued, you know, if you get continued performance like you're getting mm -hmm. from – Jordan Davis, Nolan Smith. Mind you, Mozzie's got better the numbers. Way this year's gone so far. I think you have to strip talent evaluation from him, or or at least put somebody there that can be a true evaluator. Because um, those are a lot of draft picks to miss on. Those are a lot, a lot of free agents signings to miss on. Listen, I, nobody was going to miss on Devonte Smith. Nobody was going to miss on um, Jalen Carter. I mean, to me, those those ones that he's hit early were no brainers, you know. So I think Ooh. you need real talent, a real talent evaluator. And I'm not saying get rid of Howie. I'm not saying he can control, can't control the draft. All I'm saying is when he looks at his draft board and he goes, "All right, this is our draft board. It's built by somebody other than him." <laughs> That's Brandon what I'm Graham. saying. Brandon Graham is going to play in his 200th game as a Philadelphia yeah. Eagle. I he think I think what Philly five hundred is trying to say is Scott just got another weapon of bonus and CeeDee Lamb is a weapon in every shape of the world. I fire Howie. Fucking fire him. Motherfucker! Stupid motherfucker! What an idiot! What an idiot! Dallas has Amore Cooper and Gallup, but we don't need a receiver. Are you kidding me? I don't want Justin Jefferson. He's ass. He's stupid. I fire his ass. I fire his ass. I mean, how he's got to be stupid. What are you doing?
You just let Dallas take him. You. Have a good one, people. Peace.